Hello, so today I'll talk about uh, how to connect uh, Linux VM through SSH and using the public key without uh, login ID and password every time. So, yes, go to the terminal, generate the public and private key through the SSH keychain tool. Yeah, here you go, just enter the file name, and as you can see, the, nine, the name which you have entered. We got the private key and a public key in it. So just copy that public key from this file here and move into the portal. Just put it what you have copied there. Just make sure operation key is SSH public key. And I'll be also using this VM for Nginx to just browse it. So I just opened that port here. Create it and once the VM got successfully deployed, just go to the connect here and underneath uh, you will find that this command, just copy it back to the terminal. And here you can just replace uh, this section with your private key. Uh, so here you can see I have this file. So here you go. And uh, So it's connecting, just put it yes. Yeah, so I'm into the VM. Now I'll install the Nginx here so that I can just browse and I'll show that I can access from the public over the internet. So it's installing. Let's go back to you get the IP. I should have taken it from there only, but yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's copy, open the browser, and here you go. Uh, I, I'm able to access the Nginx, so yep. Now, so it's so, uh, do you have another way uh, where we can just uh, avoid that putting that public key, a uh, private key every time with the SSH? So uh, we can just use that same configuration and, and just configure it in the configuration file. So as you can see here, uh, the host name, I put it like Azure. So I just want to access that VM through SSH and that host name. So for me, it is Azure and the, and the IP address. And here you can see the private key path for that host. And just use the SSH and uh, the host name which you have uh, entered there. So save it and SSH and your hostname which you have configured it and you under the box now thank you